Hi, um, I'm Adam Gray. I'm the executive chef of Skylon Restaurants on the South Bank. Um, today, I'm going to show you how to make a chocolate pudding using uh, meantime chocolate porter beer, which is a um, slightly different approach on a normal chocolate cake or pudding um, because it uh, adds a lot of maltiness, uh, intense chocolate flavour, and a little twist on a normal, a normal chocolate pudding that most of you will probably have made before. So, I'm just going to add a heaped teaspoon of baking powder and a heaped teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. Then I'm going to add my cocoa powder, so all my dry ingredients together, and then I'm going to sift it into a bigger bowl. Now I need to add my wet ingredients. So first of all, two whole eggs, just cracked in there. Just whisk them gently. Then I'm going to add my chocolate beer. And I'm going to add some British rapeseed oil. And then finally, two tablespoons of black treacle. That takes a little while to mix in, because obviously it's quite thick. And then, I'm just going to add a little bit of sugar for the sweetness, because you've got the savoury oil and the beer as well. And then, very simply, we just add this to all the dry ingredients. Just keep mixing it, don't need to whisk it or anything, just mix it with your spatula. There we are. Okay, so that's your perfect mixture, ready to be baked. Okay, so next we obviously have to grease the moulds that we're going to cook them in. So I have some small Dariol moulds like this, and just for extra protection, on the bottom of the, of the Dariol, I've just made a little greaseproof disc like so, because when obviously you're trying to get the pudding out, it just it will just help to release it. So we have the oven on preheated at 170 degrees, and these puddings will take 15 minutes to cook. Okay, so just pour the mixture just over half. Just before you put them in the oven, just give them a slight tap like that to make sure there's no, any, no air in it at all at the bottom when you're pouring it in. I know they're ready for baking. So we're gonna make a beer custard using a traditional recipe, egg yolks and sugar, double cream. But to add to that, I'm just gonna add a reduction of the chocolate beer, which I think will give it a nice, deep, malty chocolate flavor a little alternative and it's going to work really well with the chocolate pudding. When you need to make a custard, use a spatula, not a whisk, because you want to just remove the air from it, okay? We don't want a nice, any air incorporated into the custard, okay? So back onto the stove, a nice medium heat. You don't have to make it boil as quick as you can. Again, it's not a wise move when you put everything in the saucepan to sort of go off and make a cup of tea, because um, you do actually need to be here. They will just end up into a, a beer scrambled eggs. That's what basically will happen. As you can see, when I put my finger through it, it stays on the spatula and my line of the finger stays through it. Okay, so that's you know that the custard is ready to go. So the puddings have now just come out of the oven about three or four minutes and it gives you enough time just to let them cool down. They're still nice and warm but they're not blindingly hot so you can pick them up. Just tip the pudding out. As you can see, it comes out very, very easy because you've greased the moulds properly. Just gently cut through it. Okay, so with this, before we do anything else, I'm just going to soak it with a little bit more of the chocolate beer. As you can see, it's just taking all the beer in, no problem, soaking it all in, it's not too mushy. Custard, I'm just going to put a nice spoon on the plate, like so. I'm just going to garnish it with four little cherries and a garnish of some little micro mint. We're just going to serve a little bit of custard, extra custard, on the side as well. So we have it chocolate porter beer pudding with some cherries and beer custard. Mm -hmm. 